Okay, hi everyone. Today I wanted to show you how to uh, start the process of making refried beans. I love refried beans and they are so much healthier when you make them yourself. So we are going to begin. Last night I put about four cups of beans into this pan and I filled it with filtered water right over the beans, um, maybe just about this high over the beans. So I soaked them overnight and now we are going to rinse and drain them. So I'm just gonna throw them all in my strainer and we're gonna set that pan aside. So we're gonna cook them in there. Turn my filtered water on. We're gonna rinse them up. You can take out any beans that look kind of suspicious, kind of, these are black beans. So if um, they, if it looks like a bean that's not really supposed to be in there, it's not really black or whatever, then just take it out, uh, throw that away. And we're just gonna rinse them up. And the rinsing process, takes only a second. Okay, so see, this bean looks a little bit interesting, so we're just gonna set that guy aside. And just kind of comb through. Really, I have never really found like a crazy package where there's like an a, a absurd amount of crazy beans. So, next we're going to take the beans, put them back in the pan, and we are going to fill it with filtered water. You want to fill it so you're getting um, maybe like double the beans. So just again, probably like this much over your beans, this much water over your beans. Okay, so we have our water. Uh, it is ready for boil. So we need to put the lid on and. Okay, so we have our beans on our little burner. We are going to start the whoops. We are going to start the boiling process. And we just want to make sure that our beans are boiling. And then we are going to turn the heat down to simmer and we are going to simmer the beans for about two or three hours. I like them really, really, so uh, really, really soft. Okay, hello and welcome back. Uh, we are finishing up our bean video. We boiled the beans for a couple of hours and I drained most of the water out. I just took the lid and kind of tilted it and dumped it, the water down the sink. Now I did leave a little bit of water in there. I don't know if you can see that just a little bit in there. So next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna smash up the beans with the old fashioned smasher. I mean, I don't know, you could maybe put these in a blender or something, but we don't wanna over smash them. We just kinda of wanna get all of the um, beans in the inside out. Just kinda of mash it around. This is how you make homemade refried beans. All right, so we are still smashing here, smashing it up. We're almost done. This is probably the longest process. So we have smashed the beans and they look like this. So kind of get them to this consistency. Yes, they are runny. Um, and then we are going to take coconut oil and we're gonna dump in very big heaping spoonfuls of coconut oil. And it is okay because coconut oil is a good fat. So these are good for you, I promise. They're tasting good and they're good for you. And then we need some pink Himalayan salt. We're just gonna grind it up. And this is good for you too. So don't be afraid of pink Himalayan Salt. Next thing that we are going to do is put it on our burner and we're going to stick uh, the burner to medium high heat and we're going to just let this boil for a bit. Um, usually I do have it in a frying pan, hence refried beans, but we are going to do it in this one little pan. Um, 
just to save washing purposes for today, but we are going to, I'm going to pause the video and let it boil up and then I will show you the consistency um, and as it boils, just kind of stir it up a bit, okay? Okay, so I just wanted to show you that the beans are boiling. Um, we're going to let them boil and kind of get all of the water um, and grease kind of down. See how it's getting, definitely getting hotter. So we just let that keep going, kind of stir it here and there, but let it boil until it is definitely drier. And they're really still boiling, still boiling. This process probably takes about 10 minutes, uh, maybe a little bit longer when you're doing the boiling process. So just keep letting it boil, stir it up. You're doing great. Okay, so now the beans, whoa, <laughs> you <don't> see. <laughs> okay, so now the beans are getting more of like a creamy consistency. Uh, they look really good, and I'm probably going to boil them for another couple of minutes before we are ready for them to dry up a bit. But this is definitely what you want to happen when you are making your refried beans. Kind of just like a creamy, it's definitely thicker, um, but boil, boil just a couple of minutes longer. Okay, so I have boiled the beans a little bit longer. I'm going to turn the heat off, and they are done. I'm just going to let them dry up in the pan, but this is definitely how they look when they're done. Just pretty creamy, pretty nasty, I guess. They look a little bit gross. This is black beans. You can do the same thing with pinto beans, white beans, Make sure that when you are cooking this, you are using avocado oil or coconut oil. Um, if you are cooking with coconut oil, make sure that you are only cooking at medium-high heat because you do not want to make it rancid um, if it's too high of a temperature. Avocado, you can go up to 500 degrees, so um, you could probably turn the burner up a little bit more. But um, make sure that you are using those kind of oils with pink Himalayan salt, okay? Because if you're using table salt, then you're just gonna make it not so good for you. Like you should just buy it out of the can then instead of making it homemade, honestly. So I'm gonna pause this, put it in a bowl for you to see, and then we'll be right back. All right, so these are our beans in, our refried beans in the bowl. They are very dippable. They are very hot right now. You can see the steam. I like to put avocado in here. Um, I also like to put salsa in here, organic salsa, or if you make your own salsa, I like to put that in there. Kind of just like a three dip type of thing. Make a little guacamole, put it on the side, and just dip away. You have your own healthy refried beans. You can make your own bean burrito. You can do a bunch of things, make a bean dip. Um, you can do so many things, same things that you do with the bean, the canned beans you can do with these refried beans and it's very, very healthy for you. So thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, like, subscribe, comment below, tell me what you think of the beans after you eat them. Um, tell me if you have a recipe of your own beans or what you like to put with your bean dip. Uh, tell me, tell me, tell me. Thank you very much again for watching the video. And you can find more things on um, nutrition and self-love and all motivation to make your life better on www.theblueballoon.com. That is the B-L-U-Balloon.com. Thank you very much.